May Allah bless you for your kind doing assisting somebody who is in need for money and you lent him a goodly loan. He gave him a hundred grands and he took a document that he, uh, the debtor decided to pay on an installment and brother Shamim did not mind. They both agreed to that. But the brother, may Allah have mercy on him, died of a heart attack. So Shamim is asking, what shall I do? Shall I forgive him? Shall I take the document to his family and ask them to pay the money? Uh, if I'm in your position, I will do the following. I would check out the financial condition of the family. If the family is in big adversity, they cannot pay, then basically, anyway, I will not be able to collect this money. So I would look into my financial condition. If my financial condition is in good shape and it won't hurt me, then I would pardon and this money will be a big time charity from you. And Allah will reward you a great deal for that. What if my financial condition doesn't allow me to pardon this amount of money? Present this document to the ears and say, your dad, your uncle, or whoever is still among the ears alive, owes me that much. You don't have to pay me now. Pay me whenever you can. Or how much can you pay? I can give you a break. Okay? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, every time He spoke about dividing the inheritance, He said in Surah Nisa, He said, مِن بَعْدِ وَصِيَّةٍ تُوصُونَ بِهَا أَوْدَيْنَ Then مِن بَعْدِ وَصِيَّةٍ يُوصِينَ بِهَا أَوْدَيْنَ Then مِن بَعْدِ وَصِيَّةٍ يُوصَى بِهَا أَوْدَيْنَ Which means, before dividing the inheritance, we need to fulfill two things. One is settling the debt. Any amount that the person owes must be settled. And two, the wasiyah. If the person had written a wasiyah, please, I need to build a masjid, I need to give that much to an orphanage, I need to give that much to whatever, okay, it must be fulfilled. If the person have left money, well, if he didn't leave any money, so there is no inheritance, this debt must be distributed among the heirs. So those who are alive, okay, not only the children, everyone who is supposed to inherit, in case that the person, the dead person left an inheritance. Now they owe the debt as well. Not only inherit the worth that the dead person left, but also if he owes any debt, the debt will transfer to them. So they must collectively uh, chip in in order to settle his debt. What if they cannot afford it? Then my advice to you is pardon so that this person will be forgiven. Because you know that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that the martyr, all his sins will be forgiven except one thing, the debt. And once Prophet Muhammad وسلم, refused to lead the funeral prayer for one of the companions because before starting the prayer, he asked, was he in debt? Did he owe anyone any money? They said yes, and it was very insignificant amount. He said, then somebody may lead the prayer. And he refused to lead the prayer until somebody would guarantee to settle the debt of this person. Debt and the loan is a big responsibility. Sometimes many people take it lightly and they think, you know, uh, cool, he's rich, it won't hurt him. If you take anything from any person with the intention of paying back, whether it's, um, you know, hundreds or millions, Allah the Almighty will assist you to settle your debt. But if you take any money as a loan from any person or any firm and your intention is not to pay back, then listen to what the Prophet said about that. مَنْ أَخَذَ أَمْوَالَ النَّاسِ يُرِيدُ آدَأَهَا أَدَّ اللَّهُ عَنْهُ وَمَنْ أَخَذَهَا يُرِيدُ إِطْلَافَهَا أَتْلَفَهُ اللَّهُ He who borrows money from people and his intention he's not paying back, Allah will destroy him and will ruin his wealth as well. May Allah protect us against that.